So now we're going to talk about notes and waves. Draw the diagram of the wave. This distance from the top of the wave, the top of the wave, let's start there. Top of the wave is the crest. The bottom of the wave is the trough. And these are what we call um, transverse waves as opposed to when you did earthquakes in eighth grade, you talked about primary waves, P waves, those are push-pull waves like a, an accordion or a slinky. Uh, S waves are transverse waves just like these. Um, the distance from the resting position, which is this line here, to the top of the crest, is called amplitude and the distance from one crest to the next is the wavelength. So wavelength, distance from crest to crest. And we use the Greek letter lambda which looks like an upside down Y. It's the it's lowercase L, uppercase looks like an upside down V, to represent wavelength. Amplitude is basically wave height. When you turn up the sound on something, you're increasing the amplitude of the sound. Frequency is how often a wave comes by. And we use the Greek letter nu, N-U, which is a small n, but in the actual letter itself looks like a V, it's still a horrible V, a V that's blowing in the wind. That's pretty good. Frequency is the number of waves per second. It's a rate. The units for frequency is one over seconds, which is also known as a hertz. The unit for wavelength is meters, although sometimes we will have it in nanometers. Speed of light is used, we use the letter C to represent speed of light, and the speed of light is a constant. This is in a vacuum. It is 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, which is why we use meters for our wavelengths. Okay. Now, as we study wavelength, we will discover that wavelength and frequency vary inversely, which means that they, as one goes up, the other goes down. All light travels at the speed of light. So all light travels at 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. So that relationship of wavelength and frequency can be described in this chemical equation. The speed of light is equal to the wavelength times the frequency. Thus, if you were solving for wavelength, you would take speed of light divided by frequency. And if you're solving for frequency, you would take speed of light divided by wavelength. Energy in a wave, Max Planck discovered that energy and frequency were directly related as one went up, the other went up. But of course, you have to convert it. Frequency and energy are, do not have the same units. So the way we convert that is by multiplying by something we call Planck's constant. Planck's constant is represented by the letter H. And it is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34th joule seconds. Okay, our units for energy are joules. Which is represented by a J. The 
the wavelengths of visible light. Visible light, of course, is the rainbow. Newton took light, passed it through a prism, discovered that there were different types of light. So the most common acronym for this that you guys have all probably heard of is Roji Boo. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. They range from about 700 nanometers all the way down to about 400 nanometers in length. And remember that one nanometer is one trillionth of a meter, right? Ten hundred thousand, ten hundred thousandth, millionth, billionth, yes, one billionth. 